Uh, we should be up and running. Uh, can you fix this a little bit? Or is it going to have to stay like this? It, it leaned a little bit, so you won't have to. Try to be fresh as hell when it's fed, boy. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Can you uh, double check uh, the audio? Uh, Enjoy. Enjoy it. Oh shit! <laughs> Should you move this piece, the uh, mic? They got close. First thing and foremost, we're gonna give all praises and glory and honor to it. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of the great millstone, blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Noise in the gospel of God, living up the standard of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. With the Akim here, man, GMS Chicago. How we're prophesying the end of America and the downfall of Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man, and declaring the return of our Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, the Hebrew. All right, because for one thing, you have to understand that the tension in the Middle East, that's all self-orchestrated through the so-called Jew. You see, because they've been at war over a land that's not theirs, per se, for, for years. All right, but that's the Lord stirring the pot because he's getting ready to give us back our land. I got some few out, so This is um, Isaiah 13, the main points in four, but we're going to start at the top. Isaiah 13 and one, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Right, the banner is the Bible, all right? The high mountain is America because the one thing he saw, he holds the top pinnacle of government in this world. It's America being the spearhead, so to speak. Go ahead. Yup, and it says, um, exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. Exalt the voice. That's why we go out and we speak. Shake the hand. That's why we point the finger. Like when people come by, sometimes we call them out, you know, and tell them what it is according to the scriptures, man. Because that's what the prophets always did. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have, com I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. That's right, man. You got the angels, you got the men of the Lord. All right, because right now the scriptures say that the most high have the four angels bound in the Middle East, ready to start this war. So right now we're seeing a tension build up with uh, uh, Iran, Russia, China, America, all these so called nations, man. Because, hey, with the time now that World War III is getting ready to be declared. That's right. But you see, our people, they're not in tune with it because they all masqueraded by this whole baby sword type deal, you know? Hey, Chicago opened back up, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, hey, the CDC, hey, their daddy Esau said you don't have to wear a mask, everything's cool. Mm -hmm. Now they're losing their goddamn minds, man. Yeah, I was yeah. out there in downtown. It looked like nothing ever happened, man. And all right? I was, in, I was at O'Hare, too, as well, today. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, the uh, um... They literally, it, cause if you um, go to uh, uh, O'Hare, which is the, the the airport out here in Chicago, you uh, we, we're, uh you drop off people, you also pick them up. I haven't seen anybody at the pickup site since this whole pandemic happened. Today, uh, there was it, it, there was literally groups and groups and groups and groups of people, man. Like it, nothing ever happened, man. Yeah, these people they get rocked yep. back to sleep. They get right rock right back to sleep because if you think of it, when this whole pandemic thing came to pass last year, everybody was panicking. Like I was in a ticket store early and I was talking to a couple. I'm like, people are literally losing their goddamn minds over this thing, man. Cause I said, the, when the news tell you people something, you people go with it. But the prophets, we're warning you and telling you what the real deal is, but yet y'all not even taking heed to it, man. Because y'all so discombobulated by this medium, which medium goes to medium, which means this witchcraft. It has a, an effect on you people's mind, man. That's the reason why you walking around here, God's house is all hell. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna finish this off. The noise of a multitude uh, this uh, Isaiah 13 and 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. Right, it says a tumultuous noise, meaning all those nations coming together to 
get those rockets off because eventually, hey, when those missiles are shut off, that's gonna put a straight end to the West, man. All right, and that's when Yahweh Shah is gonna come back. He's gonna set up the kingdom of heaven for his people, which are the Israelites, who so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right? But yeah, it says the Lord mustered the battle, meaning he, you know, he's orchestrating the, the, uh, these events. And the brother was talking about, uh, you know, that warfare that's going on out there in the, uh, uh, the, the state of Israel, okay? That's not by coincidence, all right? The Lord is uh, uh, basically, he's making moves right now, all right? He's moving the chess pieces, right? And eventually, look, hey, what does it say in the scriptures in that book of Jeremiah, I think 49? The, uh, the least of the, the flock the shall draw them out, okay? That's what's happening, because look, eventually what's gonna happen, all right? Hey, Israel's gonna, you know, basically call their muscle America, saying, look, come in, we need your help. And then, hey, once America gets involved, all right, with the situation, they, the, the what, the, the Palestinians and the Iranians and all them type of people, they're gonna call their muscle, which is what? Our, our, our Russia, man, all right? Then you're just gonna see a, a world war, man, because everybody's, you know, interconnected, all right? There's all these treaties. And then look what, the, what ultimately is gonna happen, though, is all these countries, okay, that are even uh, allies with America, all right? They're gonna turn their back on America and shoot their missiles at, at this place, all right? And because the beast is gonna hate the whore according to Revelation, was it 17, I believe? Or is it 19, I forget where it's at? 17, 17, 17. yep, okay, all right? Um, you got, uh, piece of, you got that piece of safety, you know, yeah, I got that real quick, and then whatever you are, you got, you got it out, Bible Kishan, get it? And Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 5 and, First of only five and three. Start at one, Bob. Start at one. Oh, okay. First that's only five and one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Yeah, and why is that? Because if you're a man of the Lord, you know what's going on, man. Okay, that's why Paul said that, the Apostle Paul. Alright? We don't really uh in a sense need to reiterate it reiterate these things but hey man it is what it is hey you got to keep going okay you got to keep repeating these things all right warn the flock basically all right keep going for yourselves know perfectly yep. that the day of the lord so cometh that is as a thief in the night yeah when people least expect it okay all right keep going for when they shall say peace and safety yep. then suddenly destruction yeah, exactly. cometh upon them and that's what's happening right now they're, they're basically saying, oh, okay, everything's all good. You can return, back, uh, uh, your lives can return back to normal. All right, that's that piece, man. Hey, get the one-two jab, all right, you'll be good. Hey, you can go see your families again. You don't have to wear a mask, you know, inside, outside. Hey, you can have a gay old time, man, all right? Hey, you know what, I'm gonna say this too, man. Not, hey, you know what, a report came out today that they said that anybody that took the jab, they say you may got two years to live. You know, that's good for you. Because yeah. you know what, man, that spirit, I just got back in town and I get into it with my, my mother already walking in the door. She threw it in my face. My whole family took me to your dick. I'm like, that's why you niggas gonna die. You know, and she threw this shit in my face. I mean, like, she did it with, with vigor, you know? That pride. That pride, man, man you know? Because these people got demons on them. Yeah. It's just a sad case. You know, but then when we're trying to tell them the truth, we're in a cult. You know, we're going on with evil, we're wicked, but most cult leaders were Christians. <laughs> yeah, Jim Jones was a so-called Christian, man. Right? Our people are just through, man. Hey, do, do, hey can you get that uh, Hosea four and six or whatever you got? Uh, I'm gonna precept that with that Jeremiah fifty-one and nine. We would have healed Babylon. Fall off a little bit. Drunk with, with, with all this man wickedness, man. No, what does America push? Nothing righteous, okay? They're gonna exalt a uh, sodomy. They're gonna exalt the woman. They're gonna exalt uh, you know unfair trade, okay? 
Abortion. Abortions, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you know, so what is it called? That, that's your body, though. Pro that's choice. Right. Pro choice. Pro, yeah. That's murder, man. They're saying it's okay to uh, commit murder. All right. You know. And every rapper, entertain, basically entertainer, talks about adultery. If it's not adultery, it's, it's murder or theft. That's all you hear in the music, man. That's what they promote because, like in the rap industry, they got bold. Like if you pay attention to a while back, and this guy. Gucci Mane bought out the whole beef about him and Jesus. For one thing, he was a real street cat. You would never even admit to stuff like that, man. They are plants because they're trying to get Jake to go off. Because when the Negroes see black folks, the only thing you see is the game banging, buggy, you know what I'm saying, gym shoes, sports. That's all they incorporate our heritage with. It's a bunch of volume, you know? a bunch of superficial items. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's right, that's why the other, you got that's why the other nations are upset, man, because they realize the curse that they took from Babylon is not the merit. It's not benefiting them because of the fact that the scholars are collapsing, now they have to find out different ways to reinvent their currency, so to speak. Like you got the BRICS nations, you got the OPEX nations, you got all these different nations that's coming up with their own monetary system to try to make ten dollars. You know, like Bitcoin, that's dead. There's no money in it. And two, another definition for that word mad is uh, basically you being crazy, man. Yep. All right? Mm -hmm. Hey, these people, they drank that wine and they, they just became food. Became completely food. That's why you, in, in uh, the Middle East and certain countries, they're fighting against America so hard. They don't want democracy poisoning their uh, entire system, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Because they, they see what... The, what has the women's liberty, uh, 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 what has it done uh, to, to, to this place, man? It's destroyed everybody. It's made the men soft, all right? The women proud, all right? Uh, uh, dysfunctional households. That's just one example, man. Y'all seen a couple years ago, they were talking like, hey, they take a look at the soul and the That's what the marks we got. That's what happens. It's a cancer that when it spreads, it's not going to stop. You know, it's, 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 it's toxic. You know? Uh, this is eight. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her. Pain. If so, BC may be healed. Right, that bomb goes into like a healing on it. See, that's why they're doing all these stimulus checks to so look at all out. Because they're trying to reinvent themselves, but it's not going to happen. Because you're steady for a dollar that has no value to it. So that's, all. that's the reason why everything is going up. Like, in Virginia, they said gas is down to seven dollars a gallon right now. You see, they got slick with it because they're not advertising it on the on the mirror. You got to go to the pump, and it says six ninety nine. So people over there bugging out, like, oh my God, gas is seven dollars. But if you really pay attention to the map and you know the type of deficit that Babylon was really in, that's actually the right price for gas, seven dollars, because the dollar has been totally devalued. Man. Especially when you're steady putting money into the economy that's not working, you're just going to impose more with debt, and the people going to have to pay for it. Yes. Right now, basically. Yep. And you know, the, you brothers see it, man. The, the, the price of food is skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, how you said the gas prices are just going up like, it, man, damn, they're jumped like a dollar. Yeah. You know, in a matter of what, a couple of uh, weeks? You know? And these niggas are stupid as hell, man. Hey, they thought Biden was going to save the goddamn world. But then <laughs> they put Creepy Joe, <laughs> Creepy Jim Crow Joe in office. Now look at it. The only thing he done was promise you a baby sword to the, to the arm. That's it. He ain't done nothing for you, Nick Rose, man. And they fabricating about all the numbers that they got. They're fabricating that. But yet our people, the docile sheep that they are, they're falling right victim for it. Why? Because you, Nick Rose, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you negate the comeback to your heritage, man. Right. Well, it don't matter who you vote for because they all doing the bidding of the elite. They doing the bidding of those that's in power. All right? The scripture says, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And the wicked is Esau Edom. And within Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, there is a hierarchy, man. You know what I'm saying? There is a hierarchy, just like in every nation. All right? Just like in Psalms, it says how we're going to, uh, 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 when the Lord come back, he's going to use his uh, uh, elect men to gather up all the elites of these nations to bind them up. You know what I'm saying? The elites of the nations, all right? Because you have 
each and every individual nation, but then you have the elite of them, just like you have the elite of the nation of Israel, which is called the elect. All right. So right now, the, the those that's uh, uh, in power, all right, is Esau Edom, but the elite of Esau Edom. All right. And guess what? Everybody that get put in office is doing the bidding of the hierarchy, the, the banking uh, 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 families, all right? The elite, all right? Uh, yeah, y'all continue on. Okay, uh, Jeremiah, this is going down to 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. That's right, nothing's healing this place. The, the brother brought up the stimulus checks. Okay, what, the PPP loans, all that stuff? It hasn't done anything, man. It's actually made the situation worse. And you people, it, it, it's about to hit you, man, harder, man, as time keeps bypassing. Okay. Things are gonna keep going up. It, it, the things that, look, man, Harvey Allen made this point, man. Uh, uh, he said this point a while back. He said the things that aren't important are getting cheaper, like TVs, all right? Uh, just random, like, you know, accessories. But the things that are important, like food, water, all right, gas, electricity, all that stuff, it keeps rising, man. Well, see, Your necessities, basically. Well, see, that, that, that's how, and that's the spirit that they did that, because y'all remember back in uh, February when they had that polar vortex? Yeah. It was like 30 below. They said that the energy in Greece is going to be fucking high all summer, man. So basically, you were paying summer-like bills in the wintertime, man. Freak. That's why they said that Texas was trying to succeed from the United States government. I mean, it, it, and it's so how hypocritical this devil is, right? Because here at RT News, they have a dedicated YouTube channel going into certain things, bringing out the jab. But yet, they don't ever get any strikes. But when the prophets bring out information, they're flagging, you, man. They're flagging everything we do. Which shows that this word is getting to them. It's cutting out of them. Right? And let us go everyone into his own country yeah, for her saying, judgment. Can I say something on that? A lot of these uh, foreigners, they're... They're going back home, man. Like a lot of these Arabs, man, especially um, I'm gonna say like around that time with the whole BLM riots and all that. And when their their shop, you know, got destroyed, they just left, man. They said, you know, you know, fuck it, basically. There's no money to be made here. All right, there's too many riots. Okay, it's too much of a, a hassle being here. And they know that wars come here. See, a lot of these uh, uh heathens, they understand uh, uh, geopolitics, man. All right, I'm like you goddamn simple peons, man. All right, you know, you know, it's, you know, you are uh, in particular, you Israelites, man. All right, you know, and that's why. Uh, can you get that Hosea four six? Our, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. They don't know a goddamn thing. So, this Hosea chapter four verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Yes, yeah, so our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. All right, what knowledge is that? It's talking about the scriptures, all right? Because you got a lot of knowledge out here, man. Okay? And you, you got wicked knowledge. That's what, didn't you get that in Sirach 19? The knowledge of wicked, yeah. Uh, uh, wisdom? The wisdom of uh, wicked is not sitting in uh, You know what I'm mean. Yeah, can you get that? You die, I think it's in Sirach 19. All right. Yeah, and that, it was speak, speaking of the children, that's the reason why you see little Daishiki and little Ray Ray and Daquan getting shot up and killed at two, three, five, seven years old. And you see all these old nigglets rip, ripping and running, going in and out of the jail system. That's what the Lord, but you don't teach the scripture says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he gets old, he will not depart from it. That also means the opposite. All right. If you train him in madness, it's going to be very hard for him to come out of that madness. You see these women in these single parented households, you got these fathers who, who become deadbeat dads because the the, nick, the nigga woman wanna, I don't want them out the bed. But then you got niggas who be on the left hand side too, who just are just deadbeat dads. All this is a, a vicious cycle, keeping our children not in the know, keeping us going into this um, this world of sin, man. Absolutely. Can I get a precept? Uh, somebody give me uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter six. Uh, we'll start off uh, where it says, uh, you know, uh, the verse right before it says uh, honor and wisdom. All right, the verse right before that. Now I want to um, hit this James real quick. This is the book of James, chapter uh, three, <clears throat> verse uh, fifteen. 
I'll start at. It says, this wisdom descended not from above. Wait a minute, so there's two different types of wisdom? Yep, yep. So this wisdom, talking about the wisdom of this world that comes from the mind of a man from above, but it's earthly, sensual. But the wisdom that is from